Hey everyone, so now that you guys have made your vase, made your background, and made your sunflowers, you're going to start on the last piece of the project. And basically that's the texture. So when you look at the PowerPoint on Vincent Van Gogh, you'll notice, and we talked about how his paintings have texture. It means that if you held your hand out to his paintings, you would actually be able to feel the bumps on it because the paint was so thick. And particularly, it's really thick where those swirls are. And right now, if we look at our picture on your um, iPad, you're gonna go to the picture that you've been working on, the project with your sunflowers and your vase, and we're gonna start to add that texture in there. And so to do that, I'm gonna be using the pen tool, which is the second tool. And let me just see, I'm just gonna see how thick that is. I'm gonna use the first ones. I'm just gonna delete those. I'm gonna use the first tip. And you're gonna grab a color that is similar. Now, I'm gonna pick this orange because I'm gonna start with the texture on my yellow leaves, my yellow petals. And I'm just gonna make little dashes. And these are sort of like um, the same lines that you saw Van Gogh use when he was doing the stars in his sky. So you're gonna do this to your actual sunflowers and you're gonna do it to the back, to your background, to the table. And this is gonna add a lot of what would be called visual interest. It means that it's going to make the person looking at your art want to look longer because there's more for them to look at and take in when they look at your artwork. And I want you to move fairly slowly with these. I don't want you to go crazy and do stuff like this. That is not what we want, okay? We want your lines to look like you were thinking about them, like you were taking your time, staying where you should, and doing a, a good and thoughtful job with them. Maybe, let's see, yeah, I like this yellow here. So notice that I'm using the same colors that I used to actually make my sunflower. I'm just putting them in different spots. Because if I use the same orange here, then I wouldn't really see it. Like it wouldn't stand out at all. And maybe I pick this deeper orange here for these little ones. And you're going to do this to each of your flowers and to your background. So if I show you my finished example, I'm going to go here. This is what your finished example will be like. You'll have the texture not only on the flowers, but you'll have it on the leaves. In the background, notice that I kind of made it like Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night with the swirls of the stars and the wind. And you'll even have those lines on the table. And maybe the lines that you put on the table look like wood. I kind of went with like a wood grain look to mine. So I can't wait to see them. Take your time. This is not a quick process. Art is never quick. And if it is, it's probably not your best work. So go slow. I can't wait to see them.